a scale of one to ten, how lame is Howard Stern? I don't listen to him enough to uh, be able to answer that question. You know, I mean, I, the one thing I'll say about Howard, like people are like, just leave it alone. I try. I, I absolutely do try to leave it alone, but um, it's hard. It's hard for me. What can I tell you? But uh, the one thing I'll say about Howard Stern, which we weren't able to do as a radio show, was uh, he reinvented himself. And when you reinvent yourself, you you piss off your old hardcore fans. But he also uh, saw the writing on the wall that he had to start doing something different. So, you know, I'm going to surprise you. So I respect that. I just don't. I just don't think he's as good of, of an interviewer as he likes likes to think. He's a good interviewer, of course he is. But I mean, like he because of his name, he gets crazy ass A listers. He gets every single very famous person possible. So that makes it sound like it's a better interviewer. But if he was just a run of the mill podcaster slash live streamer, his his interviews would just be average. If you want to know the truth. But because he gets all the big names, it makes it sound like he's a great interviewer. He's a he's a good interviewer. He's no Ron Bennington, that's for sure. Ron Bennington, uh, you know, runs circles around him as far as interviewing skills. But I can't I can't do the one to ten scale as far as how lame Howard Stern is. But I could give you this today that uh, you know I do respect the guy for uh, re- reinventing himself. He's still going strong, man. He's still going strong. He's still taking Sirius XM's money to the tune of something like $80 million a year, maybe more. Oh, my God. For that show. I can say that much. For that show. You are so jealous of Stern. I love it. Uh, right on, Brandon. Cheers to you. Cheers. To- <laughs> Cheers, Brandon. I've gone heavy with the Stern stuff lately, yes, but uh, I've said it a few times. Uh, you know, Vice TV did a huge documentary on the feud between Opie and Anthony versus Howard Stern, so it kind of brought up some stories uh, uh, recently. Um, and there you go. I don't know. If, am I jealous of Howard Stern? Let me think. Nah. He's got a kick-ass career, though. His house is sicker than mine. Uh, but I'm not I'm not actually jealous of the guy, but he certainly is uh, still doing it. Um, but I, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be sitting in a, a radio station rotting. With my best years behind me, you know, the only way, like I said earlier, Howard Stern, I give him credit for being able to reinvent himself with the whole uh, interviewing who gives a crap uh, celebrities that aren't going to give you much. Although some have. To be fair, but um, he can't he can't reinvent himself in any other way. And uh, what I would suggest there, not that he's asking, I would get rid of all the dumb shock jock crap. People just like hearing conversations at this point when he's talking with Robin, usually at the beginning of his show, when he's talking about the crap that happened the day before. It's very compelling and very good radio. And then he moves into crap that he was doing back in 98 that simply doesn't work anymore 